grey mouse was in search of a house. She scuttled through the wood and then stopped and stood. She looked all around with a twinkle in her eye. And what do you think her little eye did spy? In the middle of a field was a little wooden house. The best sort of home for a small grey mouse. She straightened her dress and knocked on the door. There came no reply, so she knocked once more. She called, Hello, who lives in this house? But no one answered the small grey mouse. So the mouse moved in and was all alone. But at last she had found her very own home. A goggle-eyed frog jumped by one day. She had nowhere to live and nowhere to stay. She looked all around with a twinkle in her eye. And what do you think her goggle eyes did spy? Yes, the little wooden house in the field by the wood. As a place to stay, it looked very good. So she called, Hello, who lives in this house? I do, came a voice. I'm a small grey mouse. And who are you? Have you come a long way? Yes, I'm a goggle-eyed frog needing somewhere to stay. Then come on inside and share this house with me. We can be friends. Please won't you have some tea? Along came a hurrying, a long-legged hare. He'd been looking all day for a house to share. He looked all around with a twinkle in his eye, reared up on his legs, and what did he spy? Yes, the little wooden house in the field by the wood. As a place to share, it looked very good. He called, Hello, who lives in this house? I do, said the frog, and I do, said the mouse. And who are you? I'm a long-legged hare, and I'm looking for a house. Are you willing to share? Of course, said the frog. Of course, said the mouse. We're happy to share our little wooden house. So the hare and the frog and the small grey mouse lived happily together in the little wooden house. Hello, who lives in this house? Knock on the window to see. Is anyone at home? Then, one fine day, a fox trotted by. She knocked on the window and she said with a sigh, Hello, little house, is anyone there? Yes, we are, said the mouse and the frog and the hare. Who are you? They inquired, for they wanted to know. I'm a friendly furry fox and I've nowhere to go. Then come and live with us. And we'll show you that we care said the mouse and the frog and the long-legged hare. The very next day, a lonely wolf walked by. He knocked on the door with a tear in his eye. Hello, little house. Does anyone live here? I'm a lonely little wolf and you've nothing to fear. We do, said the frog, hare, fox and mouse. Come and live with us in our little wooden house. So the frog and the hare and the fox, wolf and mouse lived happily together in the little wooden house. We are so lucky to have friends to have fun with. Shall we put on a concert? Frog, start the concert and we will all follow. They laughed 
and they played, and they all sang a song, until a sleepy roly-poly bear came along. Who lives here? They heard the bear roar. We do. They all said from behind the closed door. And who are you? Your voice is very deep. I'm a roly-poly bear in need of a sleep. But you're far too big to sleep in this place. Try the roof instead. There just might be space. So the roly-poly bear climbed up with a roar. Then he shut his eyes tight and began to snore. He snored and he rolled and the house began to shake. The small grey mouse feared a massive earthquake. Watch out! The house is tumbling! They all ran outside. It was a huge roly-poly bear house landslide. Oh dear! said the frog. Oh dear! said the mouse. Look what has happened to our little wooden house! Oh dear, said the fox and the wolf and the hare. Once there was a house, now there's only rubble there. Then the bear woke up and rolled out from the rubble. I'm terribly sorry. I know I caused you trouble. He was covered in dust, so he gave himself a shake. I'll build you another house, now that I'm awake. Let's build it together, said the little grey mouse. Yes, together we can build a bigger, better house. They all agreed and started to get busy. They worked so fast, it sent them all quite dizzy. The bear was very strong and built the walls from stone. And the wolf made doors and windows for their lovely new home. The hare made the roof, and the mouse cleaned for hours. The fox dug the garden, and the frog planted flowers. At last, their work was done. It's a very fine house. Let's go inside for tea, said the little grey mouse. They all laughed and sang, and they danced with glee, and lived together happily and comfortably. I accidentally broke the wooden house. I am so sorry. Don't worry. I will build a new one. A strong house needs a solid stone foundation. Can you help me find some stones? <laughs> <laughs>